Hi friends, welcome back to team education. Now we are solving the problem on multiple integrals. The given problem is double integral over r x square plus y square into dx dy where r is a region bounded by positive quadrant for which x plus y less than r is equal to 1. By the observation of this problem, double integral over r they are given where r is what? bounded by this region right are they given limits for this r no so we have to find out the limits in the previous video we are solved the problems they are given limits for x and y both x and first type 1 both x and y limits are independent in the type 2 x limit is uh, independent when y is a function of x or y is uh, independent limits and x is a function of y now in the type 3 they are giving region only they are not giving limits so this type what we have to do means first we have to find out the limits for this region okay later on we have to do by uh, based on the limits we will do the problem right so r is uh, bounded by the positive quadrant and x plus y less than r is equal to 1 so first uh, i am writing x y plane first uh, draw the x y plane this is x axis and uh, y axis now we have to find out the points on this x plus y less than r is equal to 1. x plus y less than r is equal to 1. You know that uh, how to find the points on x plus y less than r is equal to 1 means in the earlier classes like in a uh, uh, what we have done means if we want to know x value we have to put y is equal to 0. If we want to know y value we have to put x is equal to 0 this one only we have studied in previous classes or not so sketch the graph in the ninth class if they are given x plus y is equal to 1 draw x plus y is equal to 1 draw y is equal to x square what we are done uh, we are giving the values of y then we will get the values of x similarly if you want to find this x plus y x plus y is equal to 1 we have to put y is equal to 0 then you will have x is equal to 1 then what is the point on this region you tell me x value first x ordinate we have read and y ordinate is 0 next put x is equal to 0 that implies y is equal to x is equal to 0 if you substitute y is equal to what 1 that is what is the point here x value is 0 y value is 1 so now you plot the values here x1 y0 so this is 1 comma 0 and x0 y1 is this one so you observe like this so this is 1 comma 0 and this is 0 comma 1 now they are given the reason is x plus y less than r is equal to 1 x plus y less than r is equal to 1 so and uh, which is positive x plus y less than r is equal to 1 means you will have this entire entire not only this but what they given here positive ordinate positive ordinate means first quadrant only na? so you observe so this one only you have to take common reason is what you have now you see i am drawing here this triangle only triangle only so the points on the region is 0 0 1 0 and 0 comma 0 so what you can say from this means here the region r is integration of triangle o a b o a b that is x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 and x plus y plus x plus y less than r is equal to 1. Here the limits x is from, check it here, limit x uh, 0 here 1. So x is from 0 to 1 and you have to find the y limit. Y limit means generally what you will say, sir here y 0, y is here 1, y is 0, y is 1. So I can say y is from 0 to 1. Suppose if you return x is from 0 to 1, y is from 0 to 1 means both x and y limits are what? Independent. If you take an x 0, y 0, you observe here, what is the point means here? 0, whenever x 0, y 0. Whenever x 0, you have 0 comma 1 and 1 comma 0, 1 comma 1. But you observe how many points you have here? 3 points only. But here one more point also we are written. So this is wrong. Suppose if you return what will happen? You see, first on the xy plane, 0, 0 here this is 1 0 1 0 next this is 0 1 right and this is 1 comma 1 so what you are getting now it is a square but is reason is square no our reason is a triangle only our reason is a 
triangle which is in first quadrant and uh, x plus y less than or is equal to 1. But here x plus y less than or is equal to 1 is it satisfying when x is 1, y is 1. So 2 is less than or equal to 1. Na? Wrong only. Na? So you have to remember whenever the region they are given to find the limits, you have to take either one limit is independent, another one is dependent on another dependent on the remaining limit so here how many cases will be raised means two cases student you have to get a doubt first i am doing one method then you have to guess the second method you see first what i am taking means here x limit i am taking as independent x is from 0 to 1 and what i have means x plus y less than r is equal to 1 1 less than r is equal to 1 i have so x is from 0 to 1 y is if you take and y also 0 to 1 means both will be independent so keep uh, x uh, keep y as it is then y you can write 1 y is less than or is equal to 1 minus x so what are the limits now y started from uh, where here 0 you see y is uh, on this axis 0 to 1 minus x so the limits of x are 0 to 1 and limits of y are 0 to 1 minus x so double integral over r where r is a region bounded by 0 to 1 and 0 to 1 minus x f of x comma y dx dy so method one i have done here one reason i have done can you guess the second one yes see here i took x is independent so can you take y is independent for this yes or no y also you can take independent no? so y is started from where to where 0 to 1 y is from 0 to 1 Next, we want x is uh, dependent on y. x is dependent on y. You should not take both x and y are independent limits. If you take and both are independent, then that will be either square or rectangle. But our reason is x plus y less than r is equal to 1 and uh, which is in the first octane. Now, x plus y less than r is equal to 1, you have no. So, keep x as it is. Then, you have to write x is a function of y. Then, x is less than r is equal to 1 minus 1, 1 minus y. So, the limits of y are what you have to tell me? 0 to 1. And the limits of x are 0 to 1 minus y. You see, because x axis 0, 0 only here. 0 to this line you have to take. Okay. Now, I am doing method 1. Later, I will do method 2. Both solutions you will get same only. Sir, if I take in, method, uh, in this method, if I have done, you will get one solution. In this method, if I have done another solution, means that is wrong. You will get a same solution, same answer only. Okay, na? now I am doing with this method. So, what are the limits I have? Here, y is from 0 to 1 and x is, uh, sorry, x is from 0 to 1 and y is from 0 to 1 minus x. Why I took this value, these are the limits of y means, because it is a function of x. So, that is why you are taking limits as a y. So, this is independent. Remaining what you have? Y is over now. Y over. So, remaining is x. So, these are the limits of x. Now, the solution I am doing now. Method 1. Where double integral r. x square plus y square. dx dy they are given. First, I am writing the region r. r is a region. Here you see. x comma y ordinates. Where? 0 is less than or is equal to x less than or is equal to 1 and 0 is less than or is equal to y less than or is equal to 1 minus x is our region. Okay, na? So, this is equal to integral 0 to 1, integral 0 to 1 minus x, x square plus y square into dx dy. Okay, here you observe, what are the x limits here? It is a function of x. So, these are limits for y. So, first we have to integrate with respect to y and then you will, uh, if you are applying a upper limit and lower limit, then you will get a function of x and you integrate with respect to x and if you are applied this limits, then you will get the constant value, right? So, first we have to integrate with respect to what? y because it is a function of x. These are limits for y. So, y is dependent on x. So, you have to integrate with respect to y first. Now, so limits from 0 to 1. Integration with respect to what? y na? So, x square into x square is a constant only while integrating with respect to y independent right 1 into 1 is there 1 into dy is nothing but y plus y square into y square sorry y square integration with respect to y means y cube by 3 into what i have dx what are the limits lower limit of y what i have 0 upper limit is 1 minus x now upper limit minus lower limit that is equal to integral 0 to 1 now in place of y you have to substitute 1 minus x na? so x square into 1 minus x upper limit 
plus uh, this is in place of y also 1 minus x no? so 1 minus x whole cube by 3 upper limit is over minus lower limit 0 if I substituted 0 plus again in place of y I want to substitute 0 so 0 that is it into dx right this is equal to I am writing here c integral 0 to 1 so x square if I multiplied inside x square minus x cube plus 1 minus x so whole cube by 3 into dx of course you can split this one but it is a algebraic polynomial only you can keep like this right now integration on both sides yeah, sorry integration we are doing now x square integration is x cube by 3 minus x cube integration is x power 4 by 4 plus 1 by 3 times half this is bracket cube you observe 1 minus x whole power n form what is 1 minus x whole power n derivative uh, sorry 1 minus x derivative is what you have derivative of 1 minus x is minus 1 only na? so here you can multiply anyway you see bracket power and uh, integration is power plus 1 by power plus 1 so 4 by 4 when you can do means you see x to the power of f of x to the power of n into f of x integration dx is equal to f of x power plus 1 by power plus 1 so bracket derivative should be beside but here 1 minus x power n is there na? so 1 minus x derivative is beside no so multiply with minus 1 divide with minus 1 so I am dividing here nothing but here I multiplied and divided right now limits we have to write limits of lower limit of x is 0 and upper limit is 1 now you substitute upper limit and do the lower limit so first upper limit means 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 3 times of 1 minus 1 means 0 that's it upper limit is over minus lower limit lower limit in place of x you put 0 this is 0 minus 0 this is minus 1 by 12 you see minus 4 into 3 minus 4 times of 3 is minus 12 now 1 minus 0 power 4 means 1 minus 0 power 4 is how much 1 only na? so I am simplifying again this is this is 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 0 0 this is 1 power 4 is 1 minus of minus plus 1 by 12 now again you have to simplify this what is the LCM for this 12 so here you have 3 so I will get a numerator 4 for this I will get numerator 3 I will get numerator for this 1 so 4 plus 1 is 5 5 minus 3 is 2 by 12 2 by 12 is nothing but 1 by 6 so the answer for double integral over r x square plus y square into dx dy is equal to 1 by 6 where r is a region bounded by the positive ordinate positive quadrant and uh, x plus y less than r is equal to 1 x plus y less than r is equal to 1 so method 1 we are done now i will solve the method 2 also so you will get same answer or not right friends you have to remember so sometimes they will give the problem evaluate the double integral by change of order of integration so change of order of integration is nothing but same method only we will do but in this case uh, they will give limits from that we have to draw the region from that region here you see y, uh, y is a function of x and x is a independent na? so if you are change the order of integration what you will get means x is a function of y and uh, y will be independent that's it you see here if they are given a problem evaluate integral 0 to 1 0 to 1 minus x f of x comma y dx dy by change of order of integration change of order of integration means here you see y is a function of x so in this case what i got here x is a function of y and y is here independent here x is independent so this is also called as change of order of integration in the change of order of integration first for, for the given region we have to draw first for the given limits we have to draw the region from that we have to change the variables that's it okay now change of order of integration means you have to change the limits that's it now i'll do for the second method in the second method what are the limits i have y is from 0 to 1 x is from 0 to 1 minus y f of x comma y is x square plus y square into dx dy friends already i have solved this problem just i am going to explain this method too so r is a reason y is from 0 to 1 and x is from 0 to 1 minus y so we have double integral over r x square plus y square dx dy so y limit is 0 to 1 and x limit is 0 to 1 minus y here you observe 
the, this is a function of y so the limit for x so y x is a dependent on y so first you have to integrate with respect to x now if i integrated with respect to x x square integration x cube by 3 plus y square is a constant while integrating with respect to other variables so y square into one integration is x into dy now we have to substitute upper limit upper limit if you are substituted then 1 minus y whole cube by 3 plus y square into 1 minus y next upper limit minus lower limit means minus 0 by 3 plus 0 so you will have 0 plus 0 right now 1 minus y whole cube by 3 this if you multiplied uh, both then you will have y square minus y cube into dy so just this is a function of y only so you can integrate directly here uh, 1 minus y power 3 integration is 1 minus y power 4 by minus 1 earlier we are discussed na? yes so into 3 you have so 4 times of 3 is 12 plus y square integration y cube by 3 minus y cube integration y power 4 by 4 friends are you understood here the integration of 1 minus y whole cube you see if you want to do the integration for this minus 1 divided by minus 1 you can add into dy you see now 1 minus 1 1 minus y derivative to minus 1 is beside so how you can write this as 1 minus y power 4 by 4 but here you have denominator minus 1 that's it okay so i have written same only right now upper limit minus lower limit you have to do upper limit means 1 minus 1 0 now 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 minus lower limit 0 minus uh, 1 minus 0 means 1 1 by minus 12 0 by 3 minus 0 by 4 means 0 so uh, you have to simplify this 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 minus of minus plus 1 by 12 again you have to simplify what is the LCM for this 12 is the LCM so 3 times of 4 so you will get the numerator 4 for this for this you will get the numerator minus uh, 3 and 12 once 12 12 getting answer so the numerator you will have 1 4 plus 1 is 5 5 minus 3 is 2 2 by 12 2 by 12 means 1 by 6 you observe here in the method 1 you have 1 by 6 in the method 2 also what you have 1 by 6 that's it so are you understood clearly if they are given region if they are not given a limits directly okay friends in from the next uh, in the next video we will solve uh, limits first we will find out the limits for the given region okay we will find out the limits for the given region thank you for watching this video